When I was about seven, my dad started being abusive. My father is very mentally unstable. He is a diagnosed narcissistic sociopath. Prescription pain medication mixed with alcohol leads to some unhappy scenarios. He didn't want to be married to my mom, but they stayed married for me. So I'm staying in this hellhole for you. I'm stuck with your mom because of you. Emotional abuse started moving to physical. He had a big industrial heavy lunchbox and he was demanding that my mom give him some of her pills. He took the lunchbox and cracked it into my mom's face, knocking out four of her teeth. I remember screaming at him, don't hurt my mom, and he turned and started coming towards me, but my mom got his attention back on her. But I don't remember a lot after that, except I remember the police coming, and I remember seeing my dad in handcuffs. When I was a teenager, the abuse started getting worse and worse and more physical. Then my mom got sick with breast cancer. She became a target. And then I just took all of it. With my mom being sick, I couldn't, I couldn't say anything. Because if they took me out of there and put me in foster care, what would happen to my mom? I started working at Safeway and that's actually where I met my son's dad. Um, we have a five-year age difference between the two of us. I wanted to believe that I knew that I was old enough and I understood enough of the world when I was still basically a child. <laughs> then I started seeing similarities between him and my dad. There was mental abuse. You're, you're lucky I'm with you. No one would want to be with you. My depression was at an all-time high. I hated being so afraid of when he'd come home because I didn't know how he'd be, because he'd get off work and then go drink for hours and then come home and it's, what drunk version of him am I getting today? Am I gonna get the one who's, I have to stand and block the guns or the knives, I have to make the choice which is gonna hurt less? Or is it the one that's just gonna come home and not speak to me and just use silence as his weapon? When I found out that I was pregnant, things were very tumultuous at home. There was just so much turmoil, so much, you know, maybe I can't do this, that I ended up very suicidal. And I opened the bottle, put it in my hands, and it was too early to feel him move, but I felt a flutter. I felt one small little flutter, and I realized what I was doing. And I, I couldn't, I couldn't after that. And I sat and I broke down and I cried. If it hadn't have been for finding out that I was pregnant, I'm pretty sure I would have killed myself. When he told me to get out, that was the most free that I had felt in so long. Having a baby in the middle of the pandemic was difficult to say the least. Before I worked with a family place, I felt unprepared. <laughs> They're constantly providing support. There was one day, peak of COVID, where she asked, can I bring you some stuff? I got home from work to about seven bags. I, I cried. Those bags being brought got us to a point where we were okay again and we were secure. It's not just a job, they, they genuinely care. It's been such a blessing and such a huge help. Jasper is, he's wonderful. He's the best thing I've ever done. My hopes and dreams for Jasper is that I can give him a life 
where he can look back at every moment and know that his mom was there because I just want him to be happy. After working with the family place, I feel like a great mom.